What's going on everybody and in this video I would like to show you how you can play games on the Apple TV so let's start with this video right now. So first thing that I need to point out is that you need to have at least 4th generation of the Apple TV if not the latest 4K one because these Apple TVs actually support the App Store. This is the main way how you can get games to the Apple TV so in case you don't have that then it's gonna be a little tougher and this is probably not a good video for you but I believe that most of you have at least the 4th generation of the Apple TV. So the very first thing that you have to make sure is that you have a proper internet connection. Of course head over to the settings of your device. Right now I am properly connected and this is the first step. Then there are some other things that you have to make sure are working properly and by this I mean of course that you obviously have enough storage available and you of course have to make sure that Apple ID, your Apple ID is set up properly and that you have one in the first place. So this is the kind of stuff that you need to know and you need to make sure that works properly before you start downloading games. Now the next step is to head over to the App Store of your Apple TV, you need to find it. In case you don't have it, you either have lost it somewhere in the folder or just like I said you have the older generation of the Apple TV. So right now the App Store is right here and you need to search for some games. The problem with Apple TV App Store is that the, it, is, it is just like a big mess and people don't really have any kind of pattern, it's really hard to find some games. So you don't have too many categories but you have this what to play category and here are some games that are included as you can see most of them are paid and it's it's kind of difficult to find free ones but I will definitely put some free games here so you can definitely take a look at some of them my favorites actually so yeah but you can see the list actually ends right here and there are definitely more games that you can check out on the Apple TV. Obviously once you find the game you open it up and you click download you wait until the app will be downloaded you can see you can get it if it's free one you don't have to pay anything you have some screenshot it's, it's just basically the app store of the apple tv once you have it downloaded then uh, there are different options how you can play games and and this is the next point where i want to get and that is what if you know how to download games but you are curious about the possibilities that we have and the ways how you can play games Mostly you're going to be using the remote that comes with the Apple TV. There are definitely some patterns how you can use games. Most of the time you're just swiping across the capacitive area on the top of it, but there are also some other options that you have. For example, you can also use uh, the gyroscope and uh, the sensors built in to this remote so you can play a game like this and without pressing any buttons you can use the remote to, just to play games and everything tilts according to the Apple TV remote so it's also kind of funny. There is also a difference if you press the capacitive area or if you touch it because some games require you only touching it and sometimes you have to press it hard so you can trigger different actions if you press it if you can also hear the press and this kind of stuff but you can also tap it. By the way if you are new here on this channel in case you don't want to miss the next uploads and in case you want to always stay in touch and have the latest information about Apple then click the subscribe button right now and make sure that you don't miss the future uploads. In some games where you have cars you also can use the remote as um, you know the steering wheel for example the hill climb racing offers you to use the capacitive area on the top you tap the left side you use it as a brake you tap the right side you use it as a gas so yeah it's there are many options and it's up to the developers to decide how you can play the game and there are really many options so go ahead and take a look at take a look at it down below in the description so we can download these games so this will be everything what I wanted to say in this video. I really hope you found it at least just a bit useful and if you found it also entertaining and fun to watch then click the subscribe button then don't forget to hit the thumbs up as well to let me know that you enjoyed this one and for more content like this definitely don't forget to press the subscribe button and we're gonna be seeing each other in the next videos as well. So have a nice day and peace out.